Introducing the Paddy Power World Dance Championships. Brendan, many congratulations. What a performance through to the last 16. How good does that feel? Uh, feels brilliant. Uh, you know, uh, you know, to be at someone like Gezi, it's, it's on rail. It's, you know, as far as I am concerned, him, Gary Anderson, and uh, Luke Humphreys has stood out this year on their performances uh, on a consistent basis for so long um, you know so it was a tough going to be a tough battle I knew that and uh, I suppose yes he didn't play as, as well as he could have he definitely gave me a few sets well a set early on you know the set that I he missed doubles and I took out the 84 and then I took out the 90 to win it after, you know, that set was crucial. It probably gave me the idea that you never know, maybe this is for me. And you've had so many great wins on the big stage, but where did the win like tonight rank, given the context and the stage you're playing? Uh, you know, it, it is up there, but for me, it's about winning. And, you know, if I don't go on to win, um, it's probably it has less meaning. Um, you know, so I've had great wins on the stage, but I've never won a TV tournament. So to mean less to me, probably winning finals against you know, you know Michael Smith, Gary Anderson, you know Ian White, all, all these other players, the you know their their achievement, I've succeeded in. Um, you know, I, I don't want to disrespect, but the world's is the biggest thing, and uh, you know I'm in the last 16. I haven't got that far too often before, uh, and it is major. But I want to win. I'm, you know, I'm here to win. But I know it's going to be a, a battle to get there. But as as I've done in the first two rounds, I'm ready to fight. And we saw Gizzy beat you in 2021, sorry, went on to win the title. But for you've got revenge tonight. Could that be a positive omen for you? It could be an omen. Um, I was just thinking if we go to a last leg and I get the better of him, it definitely would be an omen. But uh, I was probably really glad it didn't <laughs> go to a last leg. Uh, you know, um, you know, I've the utmost respect for Gazi. I think he's pure class. And, uh, you know, that definitely will boost my confidence going forward. But... Every day is different, and uh, the next round is going to be another tough battle. You mentioned the next round there. Having beaten a former champion, it could be a two-time world champion in Gary Anderson awaiting. So what an occasion that will be. It doesn't get any easier, does it? No, it definitely doesn't get any easier. But, uh, you know, it's about performing on the day. Um, whatever's happened in the past, there's no bearing on it. In my eyes, um, I suppose I've spent 15 years trying up there, uh, so it's not new to me, but uh, at the same time, uh, there'll be massive respect to Gary or Boris, whichever I am playing next. Thank you, Brendan. Well done. Cheers, thank you. Brendan, huge congratulations. What's going through your mind in that final set when he takes out the 81 and, and, and the 76? Are you thinking, here we go again? I'm thinking pure class. I just, you know, with the crowd, the way they were, you know, it wasn't easy for them. And I just thought pure class. Like, one minute they were roaring, cheering them on. The next, there were a few boos and that there. And he just showed pure class at times. And I just had utmost respect and, you know, for him when he took them out. But I also said, come on, you still have a free shot at this here. You know, last leg, it's his darts. You have a free shot. So go for it. It's your best run here since 2019. Obviously, I know you come here to win the tournament, but have you exceeded your own expectations as a, as a minimum? Not really. <laughs> I'm a dreamer. Maybe I'm a dreamer. Or maybe I don't realise my own capabilities. Maybe they're not as what I think they are. But um, I'm here to win a tournament. As far as I'm concerned, I've won nine PDC tournaments. You know, and to beat the people that are beat along the way against them, you know, I've beat them. So, you know, I can do it. I can do it. But, you know, this game in the world, everything's a lot longer. And I know myself, 
Yeah, it's about stamina, and there's been, you know, even the first two rounds I've seen in a couple of sets where I really zoned out focus wise and stamina wise, and I just collapsed and put up no resistance whatsoever. And because I was ahead, it just collapsed, and next thing I'm on level again, and I get my head on and I go again. But that's not good enough, you know. I have to stay more focused. I have to put in more of an effort to keep it going. So I'll be just watching what I'm doing over the next few days and uh, saving my energy. You said you owed him from the other year. Does this make it a little bit sweeter? If I win the title, it'll be perfect revenge. Um, and I don't think Desi would begrudge it to me uh, because he's that kind of a chap. Um, you know, if it's too early to be talking about winning the title. I have to take one game at a time, and, uh, you know, it's a bit of revenge, let's just say that. Brendan, many congratulations. Thanks, Phil. Brendan, how much did timing play a part in that match, especially early on with some of the big checkouts? Ah, massive. You know, um, you know, Gezi missed doubles at certain stages, and uh, as I say, that 84 and that 90 finish that I pulled out, um, it was perfect timing. You know, uh, to come back from two on down in the set in your own throw and uh, come through and win that set, uh, to stay just edge ahead, uh, it probably gave me ideas that. Maybe I could win, you know, and maybe a bit of belief, like, and, you know, and a half, even a set or two later on, I could hear someone shout and just believe, like, and, you know, in the crowd, like, I don't know who it was, like, but um, that in itself was probably the, got me focused on seeing the job home. Just describe for me what the crowd was like out there and how difficult that maybe would have been for, for Gezi. I think I, I possibly he has had, you know, a lot rougher crowds in the past or, you know, when I see it on television, I've felt it a lot worse, but I don't know what it's been like because I haven't been in the venue. But definitely for me against Geze, I've played him a couple of times on the stage and that's the worst it has been, you know, against Geze. And yet in the flick of a switch, the roaring them on and you know it, it was too mixed and once I got ahead and at certain stages where he was going for doubles at the end you know the booing and that there for me it was it was not on or it shouldn't have happened but you know you know that's why that 81 and that 76 that it, to make it two all it was just pure class just pure class just them finishes you don't think much, they're far better than a 170 or 164 you know because 170 164 is you have nothing to lose Gezi had everything to lose there and he pulled it out of the fire thankfully he didn't score enough in the last thank you very much Brandon. cheers Brandon you mentioned the class of Gary and Price there when he was hitting those, those finishes with the crowd reaction but how difficult is it is for you the opponent when the crowd is reacting like that to Gezi I suppose in certain ways I'm not used to all the crowds, you know, you know, being for me. But uh, you know, at the, and probably at certain times when they started cheering for Gezi, they kind of calmed me down a bit. You know, I said, okay, we're back to normal again. But uh, it, it can be hard. It can be more distracting than I am, and that's the only hard thing. It's like it's nothing like what Gezi's feeling. You know, Gezi's fighting a battle all the time and. The man doesn't deserve it, you know, as, as far as I'm concerned, you know, he's a class act and he does amazing stuff for our game, our sport, he's, uh, you know, just pure class and, uh, you know, the performance he's put on stage is, has been amazing at times, you know, so that in itself, I suppose, it makes my win a lot sweeter. And we saw you take a huge scalp in the one match by Michael Van Gerwen, but it was, it was a difficult match after that against Damon Hetter. Will you learn anything from that and going into the next game after taking a huge scalp here? Well, I suppose uh, it hit, hit me double. So I think early on against Damon, I was scoring well enough, doing the right things, missing the doubles. And I went from maybe, I should have been 4-1 up, been 5 nil down. And mentally, after that happened, I let it eat myself up and I was no good the rest of the game. So I suppose little things I got there is about the mental attitude and I suppose 
certain times have, have tried to drag into my game in the last maybe two or three months is don't care about averages, just win, just go and fight to win, don't care about winning, you know, I always like to be play well and <coughs> win well and everybody say you were amazing out there at this stage I don't care I know I stole a set or two of Kesey there but I don't care I was here to win and uh, that's what it's all about after you, meet, after you beat Mickey even when you were speaking to what you were saying that you were thinking of, sort of the days gone by when you were reaching the latter stage of TV tournaments did it just make the big wins like this on the biggest stage of them all that little bit more sweeter to do because I suppose when you're finished up you like to say you've done this you've done that or you got so far and that there and for me you know I've still a year or two left of me you know, well maybe hopefully more but you just don't know what's around the corner but uh, you know I, I think I can uh, still write more history and make a bigger story for myself. Brendan huge well done thank you. Thank you very much. It's Gary Anderson. What's your relationship with him? Well, you see each other at the back of the What do you like? Ah, me and Gary have known each other a long time. We're probably kind of the elder statements. I would like to say he's the eldest. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, if it is Gary, you know, we do get on well. But uh, I suppose, like any other game, it's about getting up there, doing a job. But uh, when the game's over, it's done and dusted. That's it. You know, uh, uh, we're long enough in the tooth to realise we do our best up on the stage, and if it's good enough on the day, it's good enough on the day. If it's not, we'll take our bait and then we'll walk away. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. It could be Boris. You don't, you can't take anything for granted in this game. You know, the people that's on the tour now, the 128, uh, the talent and depth is unreal. Like it's, like it goes that far to people that's not even on the tour now. You know, the strength is unreal. Real. It's absolute privilege to be on the tour, to, to be in the top 128. You know, just to be able to say you've had a tour card for a year, two years, whatever length of time, it, it is an amazing achievement. And you see the likes of the young lads coming up now, and uh, you know the likes of Luke Lillard has won his tour card. You know, and uh, you know the likes of Josh Rock. You know, they're absolutely amazing. You have Michael Smith, the world champion like you know they're all 20 plus years younger than me like so it's it's great to see them coming but for me it's great to be still fighting against them but on Gary I mean he's a bona fide legend two world titles and five finals you're very similar in ages why do you think his career has gone that path and yours has gone that is there any reason why you've had different tangents in your oh I would say he's applied himself better than I have uh, <coughs> I was here probably, you know, just glad to be here. I think Gary from day one was was here to make do damage. You know, and uh, you know, I grew up watching Eric Bristow, John Lowe. Uh, all on the tally, and I'm sure Gary did as well. Like, but and it was, for me, just uh, like you know, my first experience, or one of my first experiences. You know, I, I played in Ireland against them when I travelled. My first travel was to Las Vegas, in 2002, and actually get to play Eric Bristow in a qualifier. Like it was, wow, <laughs> you know, it was, it was great. And I just want to point out a one. <laughs> way back then but uh, you know for that I was glad just to take part Gary wanted to do damage um, for that reason that reason alone I think that's why he is two time world champion five time finalist you know and everything else that he's won you know it's, uh, he's you know he's pure class like but every day I go out it's a different story and I think Gary knows that too Okay. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Introducing the Paddy Power World Dance Championships. Hey!